Hi, I'm Michael Pfeiffer from Industrial Metallurgists. This is a brief video accompaniment to our article on atom diffusion in metals. So heat treating is an important part of metal fabrication and component fabrication. It's used to cause changes to the microstructure of metals in order to obtain specific properties of a metal. So we, it's a very powerful process or set of processes that we can use to tailor the properties of metals to meet specific requirements. An important part of heat treating, um, an integral part of heat treating or a necessary part of heat treating is what happens inside of metals during the heat treatment, and that is diffusion. It is diffusion through which uh, changes occur to the microstructure of a metal, so changes to the grain structure of a metals, or changes to the phases present, or the shape of the phases, or where the phases are located. And these changes are what results in the specific properties of the metals. By taking advantage of diffusion by understanding the motion of atoms through a metal, that is diffusion, we are able to control heat treating processes in order to obtain the desired microstructure, in order to obtain the desired properties. So diffusion involves the motion of atoms through metals. Um, with diffusion, atoms move around uh, through, the, through a metal crystal. So a metal crystal consists of atoms that are located on specific sites within the metal crystal. And the atoms are, are able to move around because the atoms, the atoms in a metal vibrate back and forth um, on their positions within the metal crystal. The size of the vibration depends on the temperature. So the, first of all, the number of vibrations is about one trillion times per second. So the atoms are moving back and forth, and up and down and side to side on their position. The amplitude of the vibration or the size of the vibration depends on the, on the thermal energy of the atoms. The higher the temperature of the metal, the higher the thermal energy of the, of the atoms and the higher the vibration or the larger the vibration is. When the vibrations are large enough or the amplitude of the vibration is large enough, the atoms are able to jump from one position in the crystal to the, an adjacent position in the crystal. And through this mechanism of atom motion, then we can get changes to the microstructure of a metal. As the temperature of a metal increases, there's more and more diffusion of the atoms through the metal because they have more vibrational energy and they're able to move faster through a metal and the changes that occur during heat tre treating are able to occur. So without diffusion, we wouldn't be able, we wouldn't have all the different heat treatments we have and we'd have a lot fewer ways to tailor the properties of a metal to meet specific requirements for a particular application. Um, there are two, well, there are a number of different ways that atoms can move through a metal. The two that I'll talk about and that are discussed in this article are vacancy diffusion and interstitial diffusion. Vacancy diffusion is when an atom moves from a, a lattice site to an adjacent lattice site. Um, and then inter interstitial diffusion involves atoms that are, that are small enough to fit in between the host atom, uh, the, the atoms of the host metal, and the an interstitial atom jumps from one interstitial site to another interstitial site. So interstitial sites are the spaces between the host atom, the host atoms, or the host metal atoms. Um, and as again, as the atoms move around, there are changes to the microstructure of, of the metal and changes to the properties of the metal. Um, interstitial atoms are typically atoms that are, are small. This could be hydrogen atoms, boron, nitrogen, and oxygen atoms are small enough to spit to fit in this in this in the spots between the host atom metals. There are a few different factors that influence the diffusion rate. Um, the, the the temperature will influence the, the diffusion rate. The higher the temperature of a metal, the faster the atoms are able to move around. The faster the changes will occur inside of the metal. Also, the the um, the type of the metal is also important. If it's a high temperature metal, then a higher the metal has to be heated to a higher temperature in order to get significant diffusion. So those can include iron alloys, nickel alloys, titanium alloys. Lower temperature alloys, such as aluminum and zinc alloys, require lower temperatures in order to get significant diffusion. And in fact, in, in aluminum alloys, there's even diffusion at room temperature. So for precipitation strengthening, Precipitations, uh, precipitates form at room temperature due to the diffusion that occurs inside of the, the aluminum alloys. Um, so understanding the diffusion mechanism, the factors that influence diffusion rate, and the effects of diffusion rate on microstructure changes uh, is important for developing and controlling heat treatments that result in the desired microstructure and properties. So it's important for your heat treaters to understand these things, or if you have heat treating, it's important for you to understand these things. 
This knowledge is also helpful for, for people to have discussions with suppliers who are heat treaters, uh, to talk about their heat treating processes, and it's also helpful for engineers to understand this, these uh, the aspects, of, different aspects of diffusion, so they can uh, help when there are problems with supplier quality issues or quality issues on their own manufacturing lines. Um, so that's it. So if you enjoyed this article, we encourage you to look at our Principles of Metallurgy course. Um, it teaches about diffusion and other fundamental aspects of metallurgy that will help you better understand how to engineer your metals as well as solve quality problems. And if you also, if you enjoy this article, please um, fill out the form to receive uh, emails about uh, new articles, videos, courses, and webinars that we offer, as well as um, um, emails about special offers. Um, thanks for watching and good luck with your models. Bye.